Welcome to Tech Savvy. I'm Lee Newman and I'm the Executive Director of the Campus Operations for the LaGrange Campus at West Georgia Tech. And we've got an exciting guest star again today. Our um, guest star today is with the Cosmetology Department and she's new at her position as an instructor but she's got some lots and lots of experience and we're going to talk about what we got planned in our program and what the students learn and all kinds of exciting things. So Trulissa Turner, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. This is a good opportunity for you to promote your program mm -hmm. on um, Tech Savvy because our viewers are interested in what we're doing out at West Georgia Tech. And cosmetology is a big, big program. Yes, it is. Congratulations also on the, being the new instructor there. Thank you. You've been there for a while doing um, adjunct and mm -hmm. night classes, but now that you're um, full time and you're pretty much responsible for the runnings, yeah. the, the success of the program, um, tell, us, tell us a little bit about your background. I know that you've got a degree in business, don't you? I have a degree in sociology and management from mm -hmm. West Georgia College or University, University in Carrollton. Yeah. Um, I've got my cosmetology um, education in Carrollton and I've been licensed cosmetologist for 21 years. Um, I've been at this campus um, teaching for right at four. I taught at a high school cosmetology program for four years um, a while back. So this was not my first experience at education but um, it's definitely a little different from what I had before. Um, and um, it's real exciting uh, to be in where I'm at and to see the students go through and be able to see them get out in the field and um, in the community because I see them every day. When I go in the mall, I have students working in there and I go different places. I, I you know, see them and they're, you know, running up to me, coming and visit me at school. So that's, that's really cool. To well, have. You're, you're making mm -hmm. a difference in these students' lives. I think one of the good things, the one of your characteristics that I'm impressed with the most is your professionalism. I think it's very important that our program presents a professional, but um, I don't know, I think of a salon versus a spa. Yes. I want spa-like mm -hmm. people because that just shows that they have the extra training, the extra concern, mm -hmm. the extra skills that are involved in that. Exactly. So tell our viewers and tell me what your plans are. How, why is it important that we project this type of image? What's, what's your you know, ideas on that? Um, because that's the way the industry is going. Um, even um, back in the day, it was just a hair salon. You went to a hair salon for your hair. You went to a nail salon for your nails. You went to um, a spa to get your massage and your body treatments and your facial. Now um, it's swinging towards everything is combining into one. You've got, you walk into a salon spa and you can get your hair done, um, you get your skin care, get your nails all in one place. So we try to, um, we're trying to at the campus um, get more of an atmosphere of that. We've got a very well run um, aesthetics program, um, which has a near, very nice spa area, very relaxing, quiet. Um, and then we've got our cosmetology area, which we offer the nails. We offer some skin care on a basic level, but aesthetics goes more deeper um, into that. So we're trying to get the students aware that, you know, when you're finished with aesthetics or finished with cosmetology, you can bounce back between the two and you're fully um, covered in the field and you can go out and you're much more um, out to get a job and you can spread your skills across the entire place. I mean, I've got students now that work in places, they do um, manicures certain days of the week, they do hair certain days of the week, and they do facials. I mean, so they're, they're you know, multi-talented, and so that makes their um, attractiveness to um, employers a lot better. Because and their chances, more valuable to, exactly. Yeah. Well, um, of course, I've been into, I've had my hair done there, mm -hmm. I've gotten my nails done there, I've had a facial there, I've even had a back facial, oh, yeah. I think it was. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah. they are just decadent, in yes. my opinion. They are wonderful, but every time I've had a service done there, it's been, I've, I've been very satisfied. Yes. If a student was working on me and cutting my hair or coloring my hair, I had someone watching. Mm -hmm. There's always gonna be somebody directly supervising. Oh yes, um, all, of our, all of our services are, are performed by students, but with close, um, instructor supervision. I mean, right. we're not going to leave and let them just haphazardly go at it and, you know, when we get to the point of 
the student's touching a client, um, they're at the point that we feel that, that we're confident in their skills, but you're always learning in this industry, whether it's hair or skin, there's always something new. The client's gonna present something new, not necessarily with the product or the technique, but there's always gonna be something that you maybe not have seen before. So we wanna be there so when that pops up that we have the answers for their questions. Right, so. right. So how do you how do you make sure you're on the cutting edge of what the different, I mean, I mean, education, education, education. Mm -hmm. um, we cannot ever in this industry stop learning because there's always something new around the corner. Um, myself, you know, I try to go to, uh, try to catch as many hair shows as I can possibly get. I mean, they're, at a hair show, you're going to get anywhere from, you know, if you can go to a show after, or a class after class after class, you could go to 20 classes in a weekend mm -hmm. over totally different topics, totally different products. Um, and then we have vendors that I've got already set up with some of my vendors. They're bringing in outside education for my students, whether it be on tools, um, products, opportunities in the area. I've got um, someone coming in this coming Monday from a local company that um, looking to hire students out of the cosmetology program. And Miss um, Jolene West, our aesthetics instructor, she has our students in Atlanta today for a field trip at a um, company for um, aesthetics. Um, a little bit deeper learning than what we get, you know, on the basic level. You called level. it a high-end. It's a high-end um, aesthetic school where right. they learn a little bit more deep technique, um, different machines that we don't have. There's so many machines out there. Right. Very pricey machines, so. Right, <laughs> um, right. We have, you know, the microderm at our school. We have the IPL. Um, IPL what? Um, it's a laser treatment, it's for corrective, it's for um, skin conditions, it, ha it can help with acne, it can help with fine lines and wrinkles, um, and it has to be you know, done in a, a controlled environment um, because it is a laser. Um, so our students are learning to use lasers? Yes, they are, on, on a, a basic level. They right. don't go into the medical lasers or anything, mm -hmm. but um, yes, they do learn that. Um, the, and the microderm is a very uh, popular um, Service. service nowadays and so we have that at our campus we have chemical peels we have a, a machine that does body sculpt so they can come here yeah, so come would I be taller no no not taller maybe smoother <laughs> <laughs> I wish um, but we have the body sculpt machine um, it's become very popular we had actually last Monday had the um, a spokesperson for that company come in and do a class for us and aesthetics and cosmetology together um, participated mm -hmm. in the class because as an, a cosmetology student, if they do so many services with these machines, we can actually get our certification on these machines along with their cosmetology. It's just a separate that certification. That is impressive. So we try to bring in education, but try to take our students to education um, outside of what we give them, outside of what's in the book and what's in the curriculum right. um, and our personal knowledge. So in order to do that, we have to stay educated and we have to know what's up and coming, what the new, new things are. And my mm -hmm. vendors are really good about bringing that in to us and letting us know, hey, we've got a new this or a new that coming in. Do you want to bring it well, in? Well, it's in their best interest to get the, your students Definitely. involved in them. Because the these students are going to be their clients or their customers. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, they need to know that they're out there wanting to help them. Mm -hmm. So they, they're very good about that. I think it's, I'm really proud of our program. The students that I have met and worked with, they are really, they've got a passion. They want mm -hmm. to be able to help people. Exactly. And they've got to have that in order to be oh, successful. Oh, you have to love it to do it. Yes, yes. Tell me a little bit about the process. So if I was to sign up to be go through cosmetology, I would be planning on four semesters? Yes. That's a total of, you said 1,500? So 1,500 hour. Um, contact hour? Is, well, the contact hours is the time that they spend in class. The 1,500 hours is the actual hands-on work. So like each area has its own time credit. Like if you were to get an eyebrow wax in your student, that would be a 15 minute credit for you. If you get a haircut, they, if you do a haircut, that's a like a 45 minute credit. Um, and you know, a perm is like a two hour credit, a relaxer is like a three hour credit. It just depends on the services. So they have to do so many of each services, each of the services, and they all add up to a 1500 total. Mm -hmm. The first semester is in the classroom strictly. Um, it's getting to know the basics of the theory behind cosmetology, anesthetics, history, why people get the services that they get. Um, and so there's then a little psychology involved in it. A that? little bit, yeah. It's um, communication, client consultation, um, working with the public. 
um, dealing with um, ethics, work ethics, big, big deal in, in our profession. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be careful what you're talking about with the client. Um, so in that, in that semester, they learn just the basics with the working on the mannequin. They can't touch a client until they're on the floor. So first semester is them getting comfortable with working on the mannequin, doing some of the services, um, learning the history, then they get on the floor the second, third, and fourth semester. Second semester, they're still learning some of the basics with hair color and nails and skin. And then towards the middle to the end of that second semester, they're going to be working on clients. They should, they're, we're building their confidence. We're letting them work on other students while they're working their way up to working on a paying client coming in the door. Mm -hmm. Third and fourth semester, clients. Only time they're going to touch a mannequin is if we're running through state board doing a practice for their test or if they have an assignment or if they just have downtime, we have a slow day and they need to pull out a mannequin to get those credit hours because on average a student needs to get um, seven to ten credit hours every day that they're in class and if they're out a day then they got to double up another day to make up those credit hours in order to graduate on time. It's a perfect example of our technical education process is you only, well, you learn in the classroom, but you learn so much more when you use your hands and when mm -hmm. you actually apply what oh, you've yeah. learned. And in cosmetology, you're not talking about it, you're doing it. We're doing it. it. We're doing it. And that is so good to me because I feel like a lot of people learn that way. Yes, much more. I think you have to have some creativity, though. Yeah. Definitely. If you're and in you got to switch it up because you know we have some of the same students for once they get on the floor we'll have them for three semesters. So if you're doing the same thing over and over, it gets boring and mm -hmm. it, they don't want to. You know they're like, oh, I've heard this last time. I don't want to hear this again. So like when I do um, my uh, color theory, I swap it up and do a little bit different. You know we do a little more demonstration. I split it up and I do a theory, which is just basic the nuts and bolts of it. You know why. We have color theory, what color does, using the color wheel. That's the, the boring but very, very important part right, of it. Right. Then we get into... That keeps people from having purple hair. Exactly. Some of them want it, yeah. but those that exactly. don't want it. Right. And then we get into all the techniques, which is the fun part and the hands-on. Well, so. let's, let's touch on that when we get back. We're okay. done with our first block, and this is great information. Okay. And we'll talk some more about it in the second block, okay? okay. And we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back to Tech Savvy. Trelissa Turner is here today. She's our cosmetology instructor. And I'm trying, I'm getting a really good in-depth idea about what actually goes on in our cosmetology program. And for those that might be interested in going into cosmetology, this is a good opportunity to see and try to picture yourself in this type of training. The good news is at first you have the lectures and you have to go through the science and the safety and the ethics but then once you get into the nuts and bolts of the program you're doing a lot of floor work mm -hmm. and actual creative 
um, hair cutting, coloring, styling. Mm -hmm. So you were just, that was one of go, a question that I was going to ask. I know that one of your main objectives in your program is to make sure that you give your students the tools to pass the state board. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, and that's just the basic haircuts and basic yeah. color process and basic um, curling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's like it, you never do those things yeah, anymore. It's the basics. I mean, they go to state board. They do, you know, some curling with a cold thermal iron. There's no electricity, so that's all you know, make believe. And then they they do a basic layered haircut, and they do a little bit of a perm, and they show how, that they know the technique and um, safety and protocols behind doing color and um, relaxing and that kind of thing. Um, but we go much more in depth. Um, we show. I show my students foiling because that is such a Everybody popular spoiled, popular says. thing. Um, balayage, which has gotten very popular, what especially with the ombre, it kind of gives the ombre look. A balayage is a, a free-handed highlighting technique where you just paint very lightly onto the hair and create a real natural effect instead of it being strips of color. Um, so it's very popular these days, and um, it was it's an old old technique. People, oh, it's brand new. No, it's been around forever. <laughs> and you were, so that's like when you see back. people's hair is dark underneath and blonde on the top. Mm -hmm. It that can be balayage, that can just be foiling. It just depends on the, the actual appearance of it. Mm -hmm. Balayage is going to be a lot more um, natural and not so heavy-handed looking. Um, mm -hmm. It should be um, just kind of carefree looking. If you, if you you see someone across the street and you can count the the highlights in the hair, that's probably not going to be balayage. <laughs> but okay. yeah. Okay. Um, we go into um, much more in depth techniques as far as we have a lot of the vibrant colors people are getting these days with little strips underneath and things like that. How do you go about getting those? Um, and different haircuts. We bring in, you know, the haircuts that are, I mean, my haircut has a, been a very interesting one for my students. They want to learn how to do it. Um, so it's not just what side of the book. We have to give them the tools it's going to take for them to go out and not only pass the state board, but walk into a salon and be successful and have the tools that they need to build a clientele and to make a living. Mm -hmm. um, and you're not going to get that just learning the basics because the basics are just that. But the thing too is when I go get my hair done, it's an experience. It's not just the actual process and getting my hair cut and all that. I mean, I I want to feel comfortable with the person that's. So there's got to be some personality. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, comp, uh, customer service yes. involved. Mm -hmm. Do y'all go into that? We do. We go into. Um, we go thoroughly in the first semester over client consultation. The things that you need to uh, make sure that you're talking to your client about, and things that you shouldn't talk to your client about. How to make them feel comfortable. Um, and then when they're on the floor and they're actually working with clients, that's my opportunity to go by and go, you know, maybe we should um, tweak our conversation a little bit this way or maybe next time ask them about this. Um, we go into how you upsell your client to, you know, get other services that may benefit them. Um, we, talk to us, we talk them into getting services in our aesthetics department and they do the same for us. We're like, hey, you, after you get your facial done, you could go out here and get your hair shampooed and styled. Um, so we try to help each other out in those aspects and we share our clients that way, you know, mm -hmm. and it build each other's clientele. So we definitely work on that when they're on the floor. It's easier to work on when you're, you've got live people on your chair than trying to talk to a mannequin. So oh, yeah, they don't talk yeah, back. Do no, they? exactly. They can't complain either. No, they can't. <laughs> and um, so if you come into the program and you're a little apprehensive about touching, you know, getting that personal with someone else and just you know just know that that's something that we do work on good good because mm -hmm. i mean that's a that's a very personal it is um service that mm -hmm. you're giving them and and you're getting into people's spaces and you're exactly. dealing with stuff that's very important to yeah. them so and of course in every case if somebody's dissatisfied then we certainly will work to make mm -hmm. them satisfied definitely i mean and that's part of the learning experience not every customer is going to leave satisfied not every customer is going to be like oh my gosh i love my hair there's going to always be well i wish it was a little this way 
and that's where the corrective or the um, problem solving comes into play. When someone comes in with an issue that we need to fix or we need to change, they're, you know, I'm like, this is what we need to look at. This is the problem we have. This is where we want to go. What is the route to get there? And all, there's always different ways. There's, you know, three or four ways to get from one problem A to, you know, solution B. Yeah. So um, that's a big, big part mm -hmm. of I, what I try to teach them because, um, you know, having went through cosmetology school and gotten out into the real world, um, I know, I mean, first day on the job, you may have an issue that, oh my goodness, my teacher didn't tell me how to deal with this, you know. So I try to hit all those well, issues. giving them the way to solve any problem that comes up, or most problems, then that gives them an opportunity to say, okay, let's go through this process. Exactly. You want it lighter, but you said you want it darker, but it doesn't matter. Now you want it lighter, so we'll make sure we do that. Yeah, yeah. and communication, that's one thing I stress. I'm like, if someone comes in and they go, I want hair color this way, visual aids, that's your best friend. Pictures, hair swatches, magazines, um, and if someone is definitely wanting to make a big change, bring me pictures. That is the best way because your um, idea of one thing is probably not going to be the next person's idea. Of it. Oh, the deal when somebody comes in, I want my hair to look just like Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honey, you got to let it grow out for about six years. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She has a lot more hair or whatever. And, so. you know, taking an effective, the same hairstyle on one person is not going to look the same on another person. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we, you know, we go over that with um, explain to the students and how they the, how they would communicate that to the clients mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So, there's so much more than cutting hair. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> involved. It is one thing that I think I love to tell people about is the services that we offer because okay. we do like to have clients come in. Oh yes, and we recommend them um, to come in and tell us about some of the services that are available for walk-ins or appointments. Um, we have pretty much every service that's available at, at any salon that you walk in, um, whether it be hair or skin. Um, we take walk-ins uh, for the most part on, my, on everything. We do have a cutoff on chemicals because the students have to get out of the class by a certain time and then we have a night program that starts so we can't just be you know, taking up their space. Um, and chemicals would be like color, color perms. perms. Yeah, it would be like your color, your perms, your relaxers. Those would be the chemicals that we would have cutoff times for. And we, you know, it's, it's better to have an appointment because you know how your day's gonna fold out because if the students come in and they don't have anything on the appointment book and we keep an appointment book just like a hair salon does, right? Um, then they're gonna start on another, you know, project or another service or a student or you know something else so it's nice to have appointments but they are not you know absolutely necessary right, right. Um, so we do everything from uh, coloring cutting foiling um, we have uh, color remover to we use do curl color remover for color creation we do straighteners um, we have nails um, manicures pedicures we have I nice have the gel nails that we, we have um, gel shellac the gel polish polish yes not the gel acrylic you know tips but we do have the polish mm -hmm. that's so popular nowadays it's you know lasts for the two weeks and that's great yeah, yeah. it is a very very popular actually mm -hmm. um we have a spa chair for pedicures um which is very popular um and then in our aesthetics program you have everything from a 30 minute basic facial you can spend all day there you can go from service oh, to that service to service wonderful yeah so um and it's great because those students have to have i think their hours are 1250 and so they're just right behind us in the hours so they've got to keep working and um it's hard. You can't do a lot of their services on mannequins. I mean, you have to do like yeah. your back treatments and your mannequins chemicals. Mannequins don't have wrinkles yeah. like me. So know. they really need the live clients. My students really need the live clients. So um, our prices are very, very economical. I'm um, very friendly to the public. Um, you can take half of what you pay at the salon and half that again and that's probably what you're going to be paying. Right. I right. mean, literally. And it's basically to cover the cost of the supplies. And that's all it is. And we have, we use professional products. We use Redkin, Provana, Design Essentials. We sell all of our products that we, you know, use. Right. The shampoo, conditioner, styler, styling aids. Um, Aesthetics uses a professional skincare line, Rhonda Allison. That's what they use as their services. And we have it in retail for people to take home and continue their beauty regimen Excellent. so that they keep on track. 
um, and they'll set you up with, you know, if we're going to do these type of services, we need to do them in this order, this many, and this often. Um, and the same thing with, you know, when you're getting your hair done, or, you know, just the student should tell you, okay, well, usually you'll need to come back and retouch for, you know, this time to this time for color, whether it's for um, relaxer or highlights or whatever it is. We so have a lot. process. Yeah, we have a lot of weekly regular clients that come in, and we have a lot of repeat, I mean, color, repeat perm, um, relaxers. The gray keeps growing Yeah, back. it does. Amazing. I hate it. <laughs> well, one thing, we're about to um, need to close down the today's episode, but I want to make sure that everybody understands that Hope covers our program, mm -hmm. and we are in the process of offering, considering to offer a dual enrollment class, which will be held in the afternoons during mm -hmm. school. So those are two things that we're excited about. The When I say HOPE pays for 80% or whatever the the process is, how much, do you have an idea how much it cost, would cost a student if they only had HOPE? Um, just in their book, well, their tuition aside, their books and supplies, your first semester, you're going to come out of pocket or you're going to come out with needing um, probably about 300 to 350 and that would cover your supplies, your mannequin, and should cover your scrubs. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it also depends on how in depth you want to go with your kit in the first semester because the, there's certain things that you have to have your first semester and then there's certain things you have to have your second semester because you start building on to what you're learning. Right. So if you want to buy everything in the beginning, it'll be a little bit more. Um, but you could get your basic first semester kit and your mannequin and scrubs um, for around 350 I would think. But of course, mm -hmm. if a lot of our students have the HOPE and they have the PAL exactly. and then WIA has mm -hmm. funds, so there's a lot of funds available. Oh yeah, so. it's, it's, I mean, I, I went to school free. I mean, I went to school on HOPE and PAL when I wasn't, you know, went to cosmetology look school. Look how well you turned Yeah, out. so I went and, you know, did that for pretty much um, nothing out of my pocket. and. Yeah. See how well you turned out. Exactly. Well, Trulissa, we're done for the day. This has okay. been really very good. I've, I've learned a lot about the program. I hope our viewers have. Me and too. if they have any questions, they can certainly visit you on the website, mm -hmm. www.westgatech.edu. And if they have any questions, just give us a call. That's right. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us again today. And we see, we'll see you next time on Tech Savvy. Congratulations, you're in college. It's a great feeling to be on your way to your new career. But guess what? Getting into college is the easy part. You have to finish college to get the degree. Did you know that fewer than one in 10 students will finish their associate's degree in two years? Some students take up to eight years to finish a degree, and many don't finish at all. When you go fast to the finish, you can complete your degree quickly, saving you time and money. Time is the enemy when you're in school. The longer you stay in school, the more likely that life will get in the way. And that could cause you to slow down or leave school early. Getting your college degree is the goal. The faster you complete your courses, the faster you can get that degree and move on to your career. Go fast to the finish and complete your degree on time. Meet with your advisor to map out your plan to finish on time. Know which classes to take. Take a full course load if possible. And if you knock out your core classes early, your odds of graduating will go up big time. Your college has many options to help you get there faster. Don't get left behind. Meet with your advisor. Learn your graduation requirements. Schedule your core classes first. Take a full course load and take advantage of all the course options. By 2020, 66% of U.S. jobs will require a career certificate or college degree. Go fast to the finish and complete your degree on time. This message is brought to you by the Technical College System of Georgia.